Oh my gosh. Hi. That's my new intro now. Alright, so today's showcase will be of this Maisto International Lone Star in 164 scale. Wow, look at that chrome shine. Alright, so yeah, I just kind of want to get into this review real quick. Or real quickly. Although it'll probably be 20 minutes at least, like all the other ones I did. But anyway, so about this thing, I've noticed that there are lots of reviews where they don't actually open it up. Or you see it in the background of their video, like HW Slide Crusher 2020. But, you know, he doesn't actually come up close to it. So I just kind of wanted to change that. I wanted to provide an actual showcase of this thing. Alright, so details. The whole hood is plastic, but it looks very good, so it actually looks like metal, but it's plastic. Uh, the, everything else is metal, except for the fenders and of course the base, all this plastic. But pretty good chrome finish on them. Yeah, it's not illegible, or it is illegible for the international logo. It's all a separate piece, but this is painted. I'll get a better view of that in a second. But bumper, plastic, no paint here. That would have been nice, but you know, you could just do it yourself. Fog lights, everything looks good. Grill, a lot of gap because this hood opens. Just plain headlights. The wheels. Could use some washing in the holes. And it's weird because it's not actually completely like properly chromed. It's like mirror finish on the surface, on the face. But all this looks kind of like brushed aluminum. So it's kind of odd. Here, let me open the hood. The hood is actually a couple separate pieces, so I'll show you the hood a bit. Intakes. So the fenders are actually separate from the whole cowl, so that's a bit interesting design. A clear construction, I guess, to hold that together. Here. The engine bay, you know, it's, it's okay, it does it job, I guess. It's like flat. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. It's not the best engine bay. It's certainly not a DCP. Which I do have one. I'm, I'm planning on a doing a review on that. Alright, so here's the vents on the side. Those are painted in. Silver paint. Here's the air intakes, I believe. They have the uh, lights on them. Wait. Yeah, it's chrome. It has a tough time doing this thing. That's a vent on the real thing. Uh, these are all lights and stuff. All right. Clearance lights. Orange, the chrome, plastic. These are plastic too. They look pretty nice. The windshield wipers. If I can focus. There we go. Yeah, they're windshield wipers. The mirrors. They look pretty good. You know, they, they do the they do the job. Let me get a flashlight. Alright. Back with the flashlight. Let's hope I can get a good view inside of this. This steering wheel. Seats.
so hard to get in there. We can see the dashboard maybe. Yeah, it's not. There you go, that's a bit better. Seats. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Alright. So, for the paint job. Nice flames, kind of brown. Got a weird model serial number here, I don't know what that's about. Rivets here. The sleeper cab window. It's got a mid-roof sleeper. It's a Lone Star comes with a bigger one. You got the cooling holes. There's a separate piece there, plastic. Diablo. Ooh. What? What are you doing? Diablos Transportation, The Flames, and Lone Star logo. I actually have recesses for the door handle. It's nice. So the whole cab is die cast. Of course, the uh, hood is plastic. Lighting does not want to cooperate. All this is plastic. Uh, in real life, there would be gas tanks behind it, of course. And the steps, hold it in. So there's another version. It's in yellow without any like logos on it, but it has yellow with black flames, I believe. If I'm right. But yeah, like half black. And then it has black flames and the rest is yellow. And it actually has chicken lights or just a bunch of marker lights along the side, but this one doesn't. So yeah. That's plastic, or that's uh, metal. And this, all this is plastic. Pretty well painted, I think. It looks very good. On the back, nice molded international. Bunch of lights and stuff. The fairings for aerodynamics. The top panel lining is pretty good. Very nice. Okay. If I can. There you go. There's fenders there. And I will show you uh, what trailers do and don't work. Uh, most of them that I have, they don't work because they, they're too short to actually make it. So they sit on the fenders and then they'll probably scuff them up. Like, the only one that actually kind of works is a green light trailer because DCP, Ertles, they don't work. But green light kind of does, but it still kind of sits on the fenders and I don't like that. But anyway, it's not much different on the other side for the side thing. Side skirts, got kind of diamond plating, nice silver. The fifth wheel hitch doesn't really, it's basic. And the steps are as basic as it gets. It's like that uh, green light motorhome I reviewed, the bounder. The interior, it looks like steps, like Minecraft blocks. Alright. Tail lights, license plate, backup lights. Looks very good. Alright, let me show you the wheels a bit more. So let me find a picture, because I'll compare this to the real life counterpart, or as close as I can get, because this is a modeled after a real life truck. 
Yeah, could use some washing, but you can do that. Nice rivets. And yeah, it's an actual dually. Let me try to get, oh yeah, and also, that's actually indented. You can have black paint. Try and sit this. Yep, real dually. Turn it over as gently as I can. All right, screw it together. And don't worry, uh, taking this out of the package, it's not held in by wires, it's just a, tw a twist kind of thing, it sticks in there. Uh, it's nice and easy. But I don't know what these are. Those are like for a stand or something, maybe they're planning something. Number 12105, made in China, International Lone Star. So the bottom of it. Oh yeah, and that's course hollow because you're not going to see it from the bottom nobody displays their models upside down unless it's like a crash scene or something all right let's compare it to the real life one so looking at it next to pictures it looks very good it's pretty accurate I guess you could do some custom work on the mirrors. I think that'll take this up to the next level. And of course, the front bumper, full grills, and the tow hook area, the holes in the bumper above the grill. Yep. How about this one? That one actually has the chicken lights. Focus. And this other one, bit of a better photo. They all have the mid roof. Okay, next I will do size comparisons with other vehicles. And I already told you that um, most trailers don't work, like DCP and such, so I won't try and i don't want to like drop the trailers onto the fenders breaking them or something because they're plastic all right okay size comparisons okay size comparisons because it's probably 20 minutes long already anyway like i said this is 164 scale so here is a Mac Anthem Day Cab, also 164 skill, by First Gear. So you can see the height, width, that length. Let me put that here so I can keep it on the shot. Return of the root CTR. This thing looks tiny next to that lone star. And a TV, TV remote for fun. And there's the flashlight. Okay, keep that in the shot there. Green light, Jeep Wrangler. This is brand new. So is this thing, the Lone Star. I bought that yes, uh, the other day from Aurelia Diecast in Ontario. Okay. Uh, it's not a black bandit, it's a 70th, I think, anniversary. Okay. 
put him on the shoulder. Uh, Arrow Pro, Subaru Legacy, dealership promo model. Let's get this thing in to the shop. Hot Wheels and GTR. It's the newer GTR facelift. Let's put the Porsche. I do have green light GTRs, but yeah. Because I I, I, uh, most of these cars I pick because I know some of you may have them in your collection so like if you can measure this then you can see how big it is next to your car uh, yeah how about a Mini Cooper Countryman and a Honda CRV Honda Bump Wham Bam Tesla Cam. All right, so I guess I'll just set up a little traffic jam. Would I recommend this model? Absolutely, it's not that expensive, of course, depending on where you're buying from, but it's very well priced, around like $15, $16, and that's what a green light is. A green light semi truck is. And you got like an opening hood, it's not a very good looking engine, but you know. And it's an International Lone Star. It's like one of my favorite trucks. Of course, that Mac Anthem being another one of my favorite trucks. I think this thing just looks great. It'll, it looks great next to, well, in my opinion, it looks great next to the first gear. Which means it will also look good next to my DCP. Again, I'm planning on a review. Oh, so, yep. That's, I guess that's the review. Again, I would recommend it. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this thing. And that's it. Bye-bye.